And Ben, I mean, we're just, Darren was bringing it up as well then. More sanctions, I think it's about 65 uh, additional people being sanctioned today. Um, is it really going to make a difference? Because it doesn't seem to be, I've got to say. Well, I mean, we've got, we, we've got to debug this sanctioning of, in, of individuals. That simply does not work. The single most important sanctions that we should be imposing on Russia, uh, one on its central bank, which we have done, we've frozen central bank assets globally, uh, 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 you know, the Russian central bank, and that had a dramatic effect on the ruble. But I'm afraid, contrary to what Boris Johnson just said, the G7 is not united. Germany is an outlier, and Olaf Scholz yesterday declared that under no circumstances would they switch off, uh, the, you know, switch off Russian gas, coal and oil. And at the moment, Russia is still getting a billion dollars a day going in as a result of its sales of oil. And the global trading order is also changing. Uh, we saw last week India did a mega deal with Russia on the supply of gas from Russia to India. So if we stop buying gas and oil in the West, there will be other buys of it. Obviously, China is out there. Sanctions are not working. The ruble has bounced back. Um, Goldman Sachs is uh, actually forecasting that Russia itself will come back to growth next year, even if the war grinds on. Russia hasn't defaulted on its international debt. It has very low uh, debt to GDP ratio. So actually, sanctions aren't working. And so when the prime minister says we're standing with the people of Ukraine, that's actually over-regging what we're doing. We are divided in the imposition of sanctions. We're not, uh, we're not uh, directly involved militarily, not that I suggest, not that I would support that, but we're not standing shoulder to shoulder with them. The West is divided and we need a much more coherent approach.